Hello again everyone, as usual, I'm Buff Bud, and today we are back with another episode of Final Fantasy, uh, Fantasy X. And uh, a couple things to note real quick. Uh, last episode, obviously, since it was the series uh, premiere, I did not have the audio uh, correct. Uh, my, vo uh, my voice was extremely low, and you could hardly hear anything I was saying. And, um... Uh, like halfway through the video or something like that, I'm complaining about how all the sounds are way wacky. Um, so I start fiddling with them. But uh, as I was editing that video, it seemed pretty decent. So I... Th oh, Jesus. No. Not this again. No. Please let me skip this. Please. You let me skip it before by pressing the plus. Oh, thank God. Um, okay, I'm going to keep doing this. Uh, so uh, what happened is... Um, I fiddled a lot with the sound, uh, the audio settings, um, but I found out I didn't need to because they actually sounded good on your guys' end if they sounded bad on my end, which isn't, you know, that big of a deal. Um, another thing, by making this series, and by making it on a Friday, I have inadvertently cre uh, created Final Fantasy Friday! So, uh, happy Final Fantasy Friday, you guys! <laughs> I did not actually plan that out, believe it or not. Um, but with all that said and done, um, actually, no, there, there is one more thing. Uh, I did actually play through the game a little bit longer, uh, or not a little bit longer, um, again, rather, to create a, um, a second character here, uh, who has a save right at the very beginning of the game, just so I could do whatever. So, uh, yeah. Or, or rather, that way we don't have to go through that horrendously long tutorial again. I suppose. So, that, uh, I don't know if you guys saw it, but that save file was like 26 minutes or something like that. Wait. Wait, did I save? Uh, or did I must have accidentally loaded the wrong game. Uh, how do I get out of here? Oh, don't tell me I need to restart my whole... Well, I suppose I could just do this. Okay, so I completely messed up, so I will see you guys when I get back to the correct game. Alrighty, now I'm finally at the right save. Okay, so um, for those of you who uh, who did not see what uh, happened last episode, so we were the star player of a uh, uh, Blitzball team in a place called um, Xanarkand. Uh, I don't know if they... Yeah, they, they did call that. Uh, we were actually the uh, the captain of the Xanarkand Abes. And um, uh, this big giant uh, thing attacked uh, that we had to try and fight off. And it sucked me into it and brought me here. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. We fought some weird monster with this, uh, this girl right here. And she said that we need to dive, I think. Is that what she said? No. No, she said um, uh, that I can stay if I make myself useful. Uh, minor spoiler, now is when she tells me to dive. Oh, almost forgot. Oh, okay, now it teaches us how to use the sphere grid. Gotcha. Select sphere grid from the main menu. Okay, use uh, that to move the cursor. I'm assuming I can also use my uh, joystick. Because why wouldn't I? Information upgrades is displayed at the top of the screen. Oh, sorry. Uh, I'm recording this uh, relatively late at uh, mm, later than I normally record, but not that late, if that makes any sense. Anyway, um, blah blah blah. Defense. Uh, learn an ability. Uh, these upgrade locations are called nodes. Characters are upgraded by activating these nodes. A character must move near a node in order to activate it. Let's go through this step by step. By pressing A, the cursor returns to the character's position and a list of commands appear. Okay, select move. Well, I can't... okay. To display the number of steps the character can move... Oh. Oh, select move to display. Gotcha. The number of ste uh, steps a character can move is equivalent to his uh, S level, sphere level. Uh, sphere levels are gained by getting ability points, which are obtained by participating in battles. 
Characters must fight in battles to gain uh, AP and obtain sphere levels, which are in turn used to move around the grid. In short, if characters do not participate in battles, they will not grow stronger. Uh, so in this case, Titus has four sphere levels, so we can move up to four, uh, four steps. In general, you should be careful not to move too fast. Oh, sorry about that. As you may forget to activate nodes you pass over. I don't know, I seem to have this problem with whenever I'm reading out loud, I always yawn. I don't understand why. Like, if I'm just talking a lot, just in general, I tend to be pretty fine because I normally talk for hours on end. Uh, but most of the time I don't yawn when I'm just talking. But as soon as I start reading something, then I go crazy with it. Like, watch my Doki Doki Literature Club series and oh my god. I yawn at least 10 times an episode. It's so weird. Anyway, so let's take this one step uh, and learn the ability Cheer. Note that you do not have to be at a node to activate it. You can do it from an adjacent node as well. By selecting a destination, uh, sphere levels are spent and the character will move. When the, uh, when the character arrives at the designated spot, uh, you will be asked for final confirmation. If the de uh, oh my god. There you go again! Ugh. I don't know why. I have no idea why I was yelling like that. I don't... whatever. If the destination is correct, select yes. At this point, the movement process is complete cannot be cancelled. If you want to activate nodes you passed over, you must spend sphere levels to go back. When you're retracing your steps, you can move four steps by spending one sphere level. Wait. Oh, when retracing your steps. Okay, I didn't know that. I did not know that. Um, let's see, you can spend blah blah blah. However, going back every time is not very cost efficient. Always plan ahead to avoid wasting sphere levels. Oh my god. I really apologize. So, basically what they're saying is, you want to activate all the uh, different um, nodes as you uh, hit them, because otherwise you'll have to go back and spend more sphere levels to get them. What I didn't know is um, it costs one sphere level for every four spaces you go back. I thought it costed one sphere level per space you go back. Unless that's a new thing they added for the uh, um, remastered version for the Switch here. I don't know. Now, since the character is in position, let's activate a node. To activate nodes, you must use spheres. Spheres are items that can be obtained by various means, but mainly by defeating enemies. Press A. And select Use. Oh, come on, seriously? See, I have no control over any of this yet. A list of spheres currently in stock will be displayed. Every sphere has a special function. For example, power spheres are used to activate strength, defense, and HP nodes. Oh. Ability spheres activate ability nodes. Nodes that can be activated. Uh, nodes that can be activated are the node at the character's current position and nodes directly adjacent to it. This means nodes that are one step behind or ahead can also be activated. Oh, that's interesting. So if you have enough uh, sphere levels, um, it would be minorly more efficient to go in between two unactivated nodes and then activate them both. Instead of go, activate one, go, activate one. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, in this example, the only node that can be activated is an ability sphere, so only ability spheres can be used. When you select a sphere... Oh, sorry about that. The nodes that can be activated by that sphere are uh, at that position are highlighted. Um, by the way, another quite uh, 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 quick uh, little minor thing here is uh, I am almost certain I have slight dyslexia, so I apologize if I'm reading all this terribly. So, uh, the nodes that can be activated by that sphere are highlighted, blah blah blah. Ability spheres have been selected here, so the only ability, uh, so only the ability nodes will glow. By selecting the node you want, it will activate and the character will learn its ability. Note that one ability sphere was used during this process. Use the same procedure to improve the character's strength, magic, max, HP, MP, etc. Power spheres, mag uh, magic spheres, and uh, speed spheres are needed to improve each corresponding stat. Also, every node on the grid can be activated separately by each player. 
See, this is, um, what I was talking about in the first one, um, in this version that we're on the standard sphere grid, it starts you off in the middle here, uh, where it says level one, uh, and then you have to, you know, make your way through everything else to try and level up. While if you were, um, starting off, or no, sorry, uh, that's expert, uh, in expert mode, it'll start you off all at level one, and you have to branch everyone out from there. In the standard one, it starts everyone in their, um, their recommended categories. So, yeah. Uh, this means that a character can reactivate a node already used by another character by moving it to and use, uh, moving to it and using the corresponding sphere. Uh, note that locks cannot be opened at present. Another tutorial will become available once you are able to unlock them. And see, one thing I'm noticing, there's like little um, things around each of these nodes. I don't know, it looks like it's uh, blue, white, orange, gray, yellow, purple, and green maybe? I'm not really sure. Do you, uh, I wish I could put. Uh, I could probably add a little uh, like arrow in um, editing. If you look right above the sphere that we are currently on to that empty sphere, you can see it pretty clearly. And then the sphere above it and all that. I don't remember seeing that in any of the other versions I've played, the PlayStation 2 or the PlayStation 3 version. Do I have the PlayStation 4? No, I don't have PlayStation 4 version. So yeah, that's really interesting. Now that you know how to upgrade your characters, let's look at the other useful... There's a... Oh my god. So, this episode's gonna be a bit long because I'm sick and tired of tutorials and I just want to get them out of the way and I also do want to play, so I apologize. <sighs> the character's current status can be displayed by pressing X. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Use this information plow you wish to upgrade your characters. Press L and R. To switch between characters. Oh, wait a minute. Those uh, little diamonds must be um, each player? Because he is blue, and uh, the blue diamond is activated, and she was green. So presumably she would activate the green diamond. So how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven characters, really? Huh. So that orangish one must be Orin, then. I don't know about the rest. Because I know we play as him. Anyway. Uh, press that to zoom in and out. Whoop, whoop, this concludes this fear good tutorial. Try improving tides now. Okay. Uh, sphere grid. Yep, you. Okay, real quick. Wow, yeah, see, look at this. She's down here, and she's green. So that's interesting. Actually, it looks like... If you were in the expert mode, you'd probably start off here. Maybe? No. Why is it locked off by four level four nodes? Or locks. That's weird. I wonder what this is. The ability Ultima. That sounds pretty epic. Okay. Okay, so we're right here. She's down there. I wonder what center they were talking about. Hmm. Oh well. Anyway. Okay, so I'm just gonna... Actually, no, I'm not gonna return. Uh, no. Because I do want to try and upgrade him. Uh, so I have one level so I can... Move to there. Actually, wait. Uh, no. Move. Okay, yeah, I can use the joystick, obviously. Uh, and I'm assuming... Yeah, I do have ability spheres. Okay. Uh, yes. Awesome. And she has nothing, so let's not worry about her. Okay, I guess I'm ready then. We found some ancient ruins right beneath us. It's not active now, but there should still be some power left. We're gonna go down there and activate it. And then we should be able to salvage the big prize. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's get to work. Dude, Terra Strong has such a wide uh, vo uh, vocal range. It's so, well, okay, not a wild vocal range, but a wild, uh, wide character range. 
I've heard her in like 12 different roles. It's so weird. Okay, so to dive I need to press B. Gotcha. And I'm almost certain there's no uh, secrets or anything like that here, so we don't need to worry about uh, trying to search around. Okay. So yeah, like I said, this episode's going to be a, be a little bit longer because, you know, tutorial crud. I don't want half of the episode to be tutorials and the other half finally be uh, play, you know, stuff. So, uh, yeah. Oh, hello. I totally forgot how you can actually encounter enemies here. Uh, oh wait, it's her attacking? Um, special. Let's try and steal. Yoink. <laughs> Why do the piranhas have grenades? That's what I want to know. Nom, 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 nom. Do you have anything else I could steal? No, okay. So it seems like um, enemies only have one item per enemy. If I had to uh, guess. Okay. Nope, don't. Okay. Come on. There we go. That's some interesting music. Yo. Okay, so there's a save thing back here. save real quick just because uh salvage ship yes okay uh, bang 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 me caveman me cold me want food bang 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 jesus christ dude God, man, I'm not really a big fan of swimming in this game. Well, hi! Nom, nom, nom. Uh, okay, so she's attacking, so I'm gonna steal from you again. Nice. And now it's my turn. Okay, so there are two sets here. She stole from set A. So I'm gonna attack set A. And then she can steal from set B. Yeah, there we go. And you can attack either or. Nice. Chink. She is so weak. Wait, was that a bracer on his arm? I don't remember giving him a bracer. Uh, no, equipment it must be. Um... No. I must not be able to uh, do that yet. That's so weird. I didn't uh, think he had a bracer or anything yet. Hi! What's going on? Bang, bang, bang. I'm not even banging on anything. I'm literally just touching air. Oh no. We got some trouble. And we're swimming straight towards it? You'd think we would see it if it was coming through here. Yeah, that sounds weird at all. Okay, let's steal. Yeah, look on his left arm. He has, like, some sort of bracer, mini shield or something like that. It's so weird. Okay. And I'm gonna use one of my grenades. Kaboom. I'm actually surprised it still works underwater. Uh, special commands become available in certain battles. Press that in the command window to access them. Uh, 
is cheer. Sure, I guess. Mix? I wonder what that is. Um, yeah, she only has the, uh, yeah, she can't attack the thing, can she? Can't, wait, can she? It looks like she can actually attack the thing still. Oh! Ha-ha! <laughs> wait, can he still attack? No, out of range, okay. So he has to... Wait, can I cheer again? I've got to be able to cheer again, right? Yeah, let's try and cheer. Not entirely sure what that actually does for us, but... Bam! Uh, okay, so you... Use a grenade on him. Nice. So wait, does cheer tell me? Oh, I see. Raises party's strength and defense. Okay. Gotcha. She is almost dead. How much is the potion? 200? I don't know how much she has. Eh, that should be good. Didn't heal her fully, but eh, it's good. Okay. So I am going to attack you with a Granade. And I am going to cheer again. That doesn't use my MP, does it? No, it doesn't. Okay. And I guess we just have to... Oh, wait, no. You can grenade him again. Nice. So I can do uh, my overdrive again. Um, why not? Oh. Ah, oh, come on! Oh, I got him anyway. Okay. Oh no, he's gonna ink! Why not? So what was the big prize exactly? Hey, level up, nice. Nice. Yo, girl, what's up? We good then? Let's -a go. Yeah, I will gladly do anything for them as long as that means they don't kill me. So, was that the big prize? Just turning on the power? Or what did they want from there? Oh, it looks like it's even lower. Whatever the prize is. How the heck can we dive this deep? Especially without breathing. I don't understand that. I have no idea what we're looking at. Was that some kind of ship or something? Is that what they were trying to get? That might be it.
Maar voetra eerste. Voetra dan ook van een neker. Hoef, roef toe, tonke diep. Wee, wat zit dat? Don't punch me, Dick. I helped out, didn't I? Turd eater. Ugh, hungry. There's Mr. Caveman again. The freaking animations in this game. Whoa! Right on. Seriously, Mr. Caveman, at least use a like a fork or something. I'm sure she has one. Hey. You eat too fast. Uh -huh. Huh. <laughs> hey. Hey, what? What is your name? Riku. Whoa! You really do understand. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Uh, why didn't you say so earlier? I didn't get a chance to. Everyone thought we were a fiend. Uh, we? Oh, we means you. Uh huh. Um, <sighs> who are you guys anyway? We're out bed. Can't you tell? And what exactly is an albed? You're not an albed hater, are you? No, I'm not I don't racist. Even know what an albed is. Where are you from? I'm sorry, but I just gotta say, the freaking Japanese and their love for scenes like this. I'm sure you guys know exactly what I'm talking about, because we have seen like three of these scenes so far in this game, and we're like what an hour and a half into it Zanarkind I'm a blitz ball player <sighs> star player of the Zanarkind Abes did you hit your head or something yeah actually a couple times um you guys hit me right oh right do you remember anything before that So I told her everything there was to tell about Xanarkin. About life there, Blitzball, and Sin's attack. And about how Aaron and I were engulfed in this light. I just said things as they came to mind. Don't forget a giant flying but butthole. I started to wonder. Did I say something funny? You were near Sin. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, you'll be better in no time. They say your head gets funny when Sin is near. Maybe you just had some kind of dream? Nah, Xanarkind is real. Trust me. You mean I'm sick? Because of Sin's toxin, yeah. You sure? Yeah, there is no Xanarkind anymore. Sin destroyed it a thousand years ago. So, no one plays Blitzball there. Huh? What, what, what do you mean, a thousand years ago? But I saw Sin attack Xanarkin. You're saying that happened a thousand years ago? No way! The audio seems to be kind of off. I don't know if you guys saw that, but as she was walking away... It must just be in cutscenes. As she was walking away, the, uh, the sound 
came uh, before she started walking away, and then she started walking away. And same thing with us. When we started walking away, you could hear before we actually started walking away. It's so weird. Anyway. You said... You play Blitzball? I do. Uh-huh. Well, no, spoiler alert, I'm not any good at it. Someone might know who you are, or you might find someone you recognize. Luca? Ah. Uh. Huh. <laughs> She's like, oh god, I have to deal with this guy. Okay, leave it to me. I'll get you to Luca. Promise. <laughs> You'd rather stay here? Uh-uh. Okay, I'll go tell the others. Wait here. Oh. And one thing. Don't tell anyone you're from Xanarkand, okay? Yevon says it's a holy place. You might upset someone. Oh, uh-huh. <laughs> a holy place? My Xanarkand? Some kind of holy place? Yeah, right, I thought. Since when? Yevon? Sin? Luca? I thought Sin just took me to a faraway place. That I could go back in a day or two. But a thousand years into the future? No way! Just imagine if someone was there listening to him. Just him sitting there doing nothing, then all of a sudden, no way! Oh. Uh, rolling, 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 rolling. Shin! Shin and Musa! Etonic! Etonic! Dang it, she was gonna protect me! Great, now I'm being sucked back into the butthole. So I'm gonna wake up another thousand years in the future? Oh weird, it's actually giving me an option to save here? That's strange. Oh look, a dead body. Riku! Kairi. <laughs> that little sound he makes. <laughs> Blitzball! Hey! You okay? Hey! So now I know for a fact that there are actually a couple um, uh, hidden items around here. I don't know where they are, but I know there are. Uh, yeah, there are. Yeah, like there's one up there. I don't want to get that one just yet, though. Oh, I can't go underwater here. Okay. I can't go fully out, though. Interestingly enough. Yeah, I'm like stuck here even though the map shows you could go farther out. That's so weird. Oh, no, now I can, no. Okay, maybe not. Weird, okay. Whatever. 
Alright, so here's one. For some reason, I am way too... Well, not for some reason, for very good reason. I am way too used to, um... Uh... Used to Kingdom Hearts, and I was expecting him to hit that, uh, chest with a Keyblade. Thank you. I think there's something up here, too. Is that something? No, I don't think that's something. I can't even get close to that, in fact. And I lied, there's absolutely nothing here. Wonderful. Okay, so maybe it's just those two chests. Alright, bro. What's up? Can I help you? Yo. Hiya. <laughs> you wanna try that move one more time? Finally. Things were starting to look up. What pew? Now their ball is gone. You know amateur. Who you play for? The Xanarkin Abes. Oh dear. What team you say again? Uh, I meant forget that. Uh, I got too uh, close to sin, and my head's all foggy, like. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I don't know where this place is. Or even where I came from. Sin's toxin got to you. But you're still alive. Praise be to Yevon. All right, back to practice. I'm Waka. Coach and captain of the Besaid Oryx, brother. <laughs> what? You hungry? Okay, back to the village. I'll get you something. Oh god, I know what part this is. Ugh. This next part here blows. I felt like I could trust this Waka, so I just had to ask. Um, it's true Xanarkin was destroyed, right? A thousand years ago? So it's just a big pile of rubble now, isn't it? Long time ago, there were a whole lot of cities in Spira. Big cities with machina, machines to run them. People played all day and let the machina do the work. And then, well, take a look. Sin came and destroyed the machina cities. And Xanarkand came along with them. Yeah, that was about a thousand years ago, just like you said. If you ask me, sin's our punishment for letting things get out of hand. What gets me, though, is we gotta suffer because of what some goofballs did way back when. Of course, we must always repent for our sins. That's important. It's just that it's hard to keep at it sometimes, you know? It was just as Riku said. Waka and Riku couldn't both be lying. Why would they? <laughs> but you this guy is freaking insane. insane. That was a good one, huh? Hey, I'm not saying that team never existed, yeah? <laughs> but you gotta figure, a team living in luxury like that be pretty soft, eh? I appreciate sure. the fact that Waka was trying to cheer me up. Yeah, about that. But at that time, all I could think about was... Everything that happened to me, all this, started with Sin. Maybe if I could find Sin one more time, I could go home. For now, that's I not quite how time travel came. works, bro. No more worrying about where or when I was. Sure, it was hard not to think of home, but I started to feel better already. A little better, maybe. Okay. All right. So since we can save, I'm gonna save here. And there we go. And I'm actually gonna end the episode there. 
because the next part is a pretty long and tedious thing, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, that's gonna have to be it for this episode. If you guys did enjoy, uh, episode 2 of Final Fantasy Friday, then please leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you, and have a great day, then. Goodbye.